Hello. Welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do an easy, not maybe too easy, Easter card. And all the dyes is cut, was cut from the Cricut. My Easter eggs is solid white. We're going to use stamps to change the texture and all that fun stuff. The bunny was cut from the Cricut. And my grass was. So, with that being said, and I've already pre cut my corn. So, we are going to, I'm going to be using May May Made It stamps on the eggs. And then a Happy Easter from Stampin' Up! Well Script set. So, first of all, I'm going to work on my eggs. And I'm just going to use different textures, background stamps. And the first one is, I'm going to start off with this one. <coughs> and just use this one, this one, no, I don't know. We may just play around and see what we can come up with. And yes, you do hear, hear puppies. We've got 12 of them. Little itty bitty. Well, they four, three weeks old. And they always whine it. I'm going to use Real Red from Stampin' Up. And I don't. I'm not a demonstrator from Stampin' Up. At all. I was at one time and I just, I'm sorry, I just can't just use Stampin' Up products. Wipe this off because I don't want it other ink on it. Um, I'm going to use um, Blackberry Bliss. On one, Wouldn't this be fun to do on the eggs? On her eggs? Mella It's pink. On one. Hard to get off. I ain't played with them. you got and uh, let's do something pie mm. let's do this 
coat. I bet it gets nails. Man, let's do Daffodil Delight on the next one. Now, I think I'm going to change sets. I think I've done all I can on this. And that's probably all the eggs I'm doing, to tell you the truth. I just cut some out just in case I messed up. Because I know me. <laughs> and then I'm using this set of May May Made It Awesome. that being done, now we're going to go back and color in the white. With the uh, cotton balls. And I use a lot of cotton balls. If y'all ain't noticed. I'm just giving this a tint of yellow. Just enough to kind of knock the white off. Okay, I'm going back with the pumpkin pie. This. And then the mellow mango. And like I said, I get this. I mean, this is why I have this on here. And that's that. I think that's all that cotton ball, too. Well, sheep. I just did not want clothes. Does anybody else have trouble with stamping up ink pads like I do? And then, real red. And then we'll clean my mat off. That's that. <laughs> and that's that, y'all. <clears throat> and I go through baby wipes like crazy. If y'all don't know that. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, I cut out extra... Um, eggs because I didn't know how many if I'd make mistakes or what and yes y'all I do make mistakes y'all may not believe it but I do I make a lot of them okay and I cut out extra grass too 
just so y'all know. Okay, I'm going to put, well, I might get grass down here with the um, Aunt Riddle group. And I'm just about out of this stuff. And that's going to be a crisis, y'all. I'm telling y'all. <clears throat> what are you doing, May May? Okay, now I'm going to glue my bunny on. And I'm going to glue the brown onto the pink. And I'm going to stick him up here in this grass. I think I'm going to have to have the heat on today. Have the AC on yesterday. <coughs> I didn't realize it was that cold outside. Yeah, I'm going to just stick these eggs. And I may do more eggs. And I put my art riddle glue in this. Because I like the tip of this. And it don't seem to dry out as bad. And I just made a label for it. If people's wondering. And if I don't say that these is sponsored by somebody, then they ain't. I bought the supplies myself.
I do not know what she's into, y'all. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim the bottom up to make it look even. Yeah. I think I'm going to use some um, Winka Stella. on a few of these eggs to make them stand out some. I do not know what she's into, I promise. Uh, May May, I don't think so. And then I'm going to use my stay zone. Okay, I'm back. Sorry I had to go take care of a dog that was into something she wasn't supposed to be in. Okay, I'm going to take a uh, pull pop party from Stampin' Up and a cotton ball. And I'm going to give us some clouds on here. Just like so what won't be it looks more outdoorsy. I probably should have done this before I did all this, but I didn't realize. I'm going to use a little bit of fly stamp. Does anybody else do this? They think they've got it and then they think it's something else. Okay, I'm using this um, stamp set also. This is from wish.com.
And I'm going to just use some of these. Now, I'm not going to put too many of these on here, I don't think. Mm, I'll mess that one up, but maybe not too bad. To kind of bring in a few of these. Yeah, that helps. To break up. Yeah, not so much. Daffodil uh, Delight. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, maybe I'll overflow with butterflies, but I like butterflies, so. Anyways, here's your uh, Easter card. It says Happy Easter. And it was easy, you know, pretty well easy. I like how the eggs came out. And the bunny. And I like the butterflies. But like I say, I do love butterflies. And um, I think I'm going to add some drops to it if I can find them. I'm going to use Nevo Glittle Drops and um, Sherbet Shrimal. And I'm just going to put drops like this. If y'all don't know, I'm not happy with this. <sighs> well. <clears throat> I better stop before I really mess it up. But here we are. And like I said, it was a pretty easy card because most of it was done on the Cricut. Now you can do this without a Cricut if you can draw. <laughs> I can't. I use a few stamps. Um, the eggs you could do, you know, you could use about anything. But I just thought it would be neat to use those stamps. Um, the grass, you could cut it, just fringe it, like, um, fringe it, instead of having it cut like that. Um, like I said, you know, those are always, if those are real, those are always a way. And, um, I don't. I use my Cricut a lot. I use my stamps a lot. And I use my ink pads a lot. You know, as far as using colored paper, I I go through stages. So, 
I think if you got white, you can do about anything you want without having to have the colored paper or even the pattern paper because you can do so much. I mean, I've, I've got chicken roll that I use as a stencil. I've got, you know, I've made a few of my stencils off of my Cricut um, at one time. So, you know, you can do a lot with just a little bit of supplies. I mean, when I go to crop, I try to take as less as possible, but be able to do what I want to do. <clears throat> Sometimes that don't look so easy. Because I get overwhelmed and I get too much. And uh, so, with that being said, though, I just wanted to share y'all with y'all a, a, a Easter corn. I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope y'all enjoy the Easter corn. And I want to say Happy Easter to everybody. Although I'm a few days only, but it'll be okay. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Maybe my thumbs is nasty. And subscribe to us. Visit us at Angie's Craft Corner Facebook. Um, visit us at AngieCraftCorner.com. And y'all have a blessed day. And I'll see y'all next time.